yeah, you're happy to cast this game. I'm happy to cast with you. Hell yeah. I feel like every time I'm at Flashpoint, I'm casting with a new celebrity. It's awesome. <laughs> Last time was James. I feel the same, dude. There's been amazing <laughs> talent here. I'm so happy to be a part of this oh, crew. Yeah. It's so fun to be in that green room. I, can t I can't stop. <laughs> it's very true. This is why we don't record anything in there. Okay. Uh, so we're looking at Bind, and, and as we've heard, this is Sentinels. Uh, I'm sorry, Immortals map. They're going to want to play strong on this one, and we will see Immortals on that attack coming in. Defense here on the side of Sentinels. Yeah, this is looking like a pretty typical composition on the side of Immortals here. No one really throwing any curveballs into the equation here. Dicey on his signature jet, and that is the that's, that's the player to watch for me on the Immortal side. He has been lighting things up. Full ghosts. You know, that usually puts a knock on the utility that they can bring to the table. We actually see that not much else has been purchased here by Dicey as they go into this round. And we're going to start off with a little bit of hookah love and three towards long for Immortals. Asuna in the lead. One of the youngest players here. This man just turned 17. And, you know, pressure's on. A lot of watchful eyes on Asuna. Yeah, a few young players here. We'll see what he's able to do as he's challenging some vets. Dapper will be there to meet him on the Cypher, but there's another player lying in wait. Good nade to clear out that space, but will it accomplish anything? First contact will be on Kohler here, coming out of Wong right now. That hexagon Ooh. position has been compromised, and now the fight towards Hookah begins. Asuna looking for that frag, but Sinatra and Zom's putting up a great defense, able to find a couple of frags here, but it leaves it down to a 2v2. Coming through Hookah both, so they won't have too much, but they have the bomb. They notice that they have the bomb. This puts them in such a bad spot as Gangsta now tries to get back in. The flash comes through. It's only going to be a tap shot that he needs to get on Sinatra. As there was a bit of the heal from Hot Hands, and the Frenzy comes up big from the Phoenix. Sinatra with three to start off. They absolutely locked down that hookah position. That was such a great round from Sinatra there. Getting aggressive there, kind of separating there in the 2v1. A risky decision, but he makes it work. Sentinels with the hot start they need. Sinatra back on the Phoenix this game. And we know he loves to run it back every time that he can. Already very close to that as he's only three away, so they may do some alt orb farming we see in the beginning of these rounds. But he's right back to hookah. He wants to keep the aggression on. And get in the minds of his opponents. Asuna with the Sheriff, second round. Oh, it's swinging instantly, no. and he actually gets the kill already. Sinatra just two away from that run it back, and he's going for more. Oh, he's looking for a second, but he's not able to find the kill there. But is he going for the dry swing? You have to be kidding me. Sinatra really making an impression early on in this game. Oh man, he tags Dicey down to half already. He's pushing on forward. He gets the 3k again. Looking oh for more. Oh, Kohler does take him down eventually, but he's down to 19 HP. And Sentinels will pick up a quick second round there. I love the calls as well. It seemed like Sinatra was saying, don't worry, don't worry. Then he called the cavalry. Everybody threw the teleporter when they knew the rest were there. What a play coming in. Yeah, that is just some high-octane action coming out from Sinatra mm -hmm. early on. He already has his ultimate here on the second round, that or the third round, I'm yeah. sorry, and that is just some impressive stuff. <laughs> Shouldn't have that. You should not <laughs> have that. Oh, my word. I don't know if he'll even use it right away. I think he's already in the mind of Immortals. Sinatra's somebody to set the pace of a game and tell you how it's going to go for the rest of the time, and he's already lit that fuse. We see Sick do this constantly here. Sentinels always factoring in later rounds, farming orbs, getting kills, holding alts, and being ready for the worst. Yeah, it makes a big difference having those ultimates. So much utility with them. It's just another piece of utility, and mm -hmm. Sentinels, they weigh it very strongly. They weigh it and not really any control being taken actually on the side of uh, Sentinel Swords Hookah. It looked like they were going to be putting up a bigger fight there, but they actually back off of the angle, actually let Immortals into that space now, and this is actually shaping up very nicely for Immortals. They did get picked off though. But it's a 2-2 two, two split looking to come out, but Sentinels, they have three people lying in wait. Not much pressure around the map, so Immortals don't have a lot of info going into this one. They're going to have to use the util, and it looks like they're doing quite a few of the peaks right. Gangsta able to make that work, though, as the flash comes out, and this crossfire from Sentinels just shuts down Immortals. Only a few members left to guard it. Yeah, Sinatra with that run it back is able to find a single kill. Gangsta through elbow will be stopped by Shazam, leaving it just up to Dicey, the star, the star jet player on the side of IMT, but he's getting rushed down. Oh, the no respect play coming out from Sentinels, all peeking him at once. Sick will find that final frag of the round. Four alive though for Sentinels. 
they're not only winning these rounds, but they're doing it with so many players alive. That's a great point. It doesn't seem like they're using too much util to stop the site. It's the open shots as Immortals are running in, one-two punch, and they're quickly to the end of the round. Uh, a big group up here towards the left side. No Alter Cypher cams, you know, on the right side of the map for a flank here. Coming in from the side of Immortals, they're keeping all their utility together. I wonder if that will affect them. We do see Dapper's uh, camera in hookah, so they may play this one a little slow until they find that cam intel. Yeah, it looks like Sentinels are expecting some kind of A play, but this is actually coming out very quickly from Sweet Immortals. Dark. Sinatra, he has to use that hot hand along with the curveball. It will be able to find him a kill there. Oh, spamming through the hookah, and he's able to get another on top of that. The hookah TP is in, sick with the flank already, leaving just Icy once again. He gets one, but again, Sentinels, a dominant round. It quickly even closing in on the eco rounds here from Immortal. Sentinels are really just able to read it, take him down. And with Immortals taking the site, we kind of see here quickly jumping up. Who was covering Asuna, though, right? They're all still in the back. It is eco, and you're, you're playing on the edge of your seat. But you got to have follow-up there if somebody is going to be jumping up into the site. Yeah, it feels like there's a lot of casualties being taken mm -hmm. and maybe some uh, unnecessary positions. I think Immortals need to be able to slow this game down, recognize that Sentinels are showing no respect, and uh, play at their pace, Both or down. at least try to tame For them sure. just a bit. Uh, we have the Cypher off on the side of Immortals along with Bladestorm. Looking around, looks like they do have weapons, and don't think we're seeing a save. No, he has an op, so Bladestorm is not going to come out this round. They're hoping it's going to just be the accuracy, and that op is in the hands of Shazam. Sentinel's feeling good on defense. Traps are up for the sight take, and they're ready again now for Immortals. Okay, so. oh, there's the cam. They see two in Hookah now, and that's going to make a bit of a problem. Again, the rotation coming right over here. here and no they way. don't have any Hold cam on. on the flank for Immortals. They don't know what's coming behind them. Just that trap, and they will once again try to take B. Oh, that Hunter's Fury can't find anything, actually. Dicey trying to look over the cage. Does find Sinatra, actually. Oh, but word, Sick, Sick is so quick with the response there. But Kohler and Asuna find a few kills of their own, leaving it just down to the Brimstone player I in Zoms. Exactly and they know exactly where he is with that Neural Theft coming out. We see Immortals want to brute force it. It comes in for round five and, and working for them. And I wonder if Sentinels is just going to start to read this. A good round here for Immortals. They need to stop that money bank of Sentinels right now with four straight rounds. Here Zoms comes in, gets one, but cannot find Gangsta. And Immortals stop the bleeding for now as we head into round six. Yeah, that was a must win round for Immortals there. They used an ultimate on Gangsta, and he's been so effective throughout this tournament with that Hunter's Fury. In fact, I rarely see him not accomplish a kill. I don't actually think he even tagged anyone with it in that previous round, but it didn't matter. Asuna came up huge with the double entry onto the bomb site, and good follow-up from Kohler as well. Kohler having a decent game on these flanks, and, and I think Immortals is getting the info they want. I've been saying they don't have the flank info, but this brute force is, if, if you're all going in, it doesn't matter if somebody's behind you. Once you're in the post point, you can look for that. They're all on the same page, and that's what you need. Even if it's a bad call, everybody going and trying to make it work. Makes it even better, though. Location revealed. Asuna knows he's just kind of playing distraction right now. Is Immortals sussing out what utility they can get here from Sentinels. Yeah, but Asuna, he committed the ultimate there, wasn't able to find a kill, and you're always looking for so something with that. Yeah. It's a little bit unfortunate, but they're able to find this hookah control once again, and actually, Immor Immortals are doing a really great job at finding this space early on. It feels like Sentinels, in their game plan, they're comfortable giving this up. They know how to play on the site, something that a lot of teams do struggle with. But Sentinels, they're still in their zone for this one. Now the Hunter's Fury on the other side. Shazam with one, looking for more. He finds the tag on a Dicey, but he uses the updraft to dodge that. And now he smoked off of Elbow, just leaving Sinatra on the site. Actually, Zoms is in tow. I think Immortals are magnetized to be here. They finally break that field. And now they start to head over to the other side, walking through their own trips here to make sure they can get to safety. And now they're only going to be meeting Sick inside sight. Will they be able to take him down? A quick smoke goes out, alerting Sick that the play is going to be here. And he only drops Asuna. His dicey answer is back here. Can Sentinels get the positioning to take this back in a 3v3? Shazam trying to make his way around that site with the operator. But he loses the duel to Dicey. 
It's just down to Sinatra and Zom. Zom's with the double, though, in the U-Haul. Two important kills, bringing it down to Dicey in the 1v1. Just 6 HP. Zoms could sneeze on him at this point and find this kill, but Dicey, he might have found the timing here. It looks like he'll get the better of him. Looking for the flank, Zoms taps it out. Dicey, he has to peek the bomb site, and he's able to find the kill. Huge round from Dicey with the three-piece. What patience. An operator in a 6 HP situation, and Dicey plays a perfect game of Ring Around the Rosy. Oh my word. A second and very much needed round for Immortals to start to tag on that bankroll of Cloud uh, of Sentinels. Sorry. And here we can see that money taking a bit of a hit. Sentinels will now have a bit of that money accrual at 2400 for a second round loss, 2900 for the third, if Immortals can keep winning here. Yeah, this is a really important round. Could be a swing round, as a matter of fact. Both of these teams with... Okay, I'll hold that thought as Sinatra gets aggressive early, taking it to Asuna there. That is such a great kill on what is such an important round. The Econ and its implications in this round. Whoever wins this one has a chance to really yeah. run away with this half. We have run it back here on Sinatra. He's waiting, doing the quick peeks. You can tell they're pretty relaxed in this situation. If he's just jump peeking, they know they have quite a stack towards here, uh, uh, towards B, sorry, with those traps. So you have a bit of time before you actually need to draw your weapon and prepare. So you quick peek to Hookah. They know they've been able to stop Immortals, so they're really not putting, Sentinels aren't putting themselves in a dangerous position. Yeah, it's just a really smart play, a very pragmatic approach. But it looks like it'll be Immortals Heading back towards that A site. They took that hookah control. Here. There's now this pressure that is exerted on Sentinels. You can see that it actually drew Shazam out of position. But will Immortal strike in time? As Shazam, he's rotated all the way back now. There's three players here to meet them. And oh, Dapper, he just dodges the paranoia there. Will they expect him in this position? He takes down the ultimate. But Zombs was able to actually uh. to find a kill himself. Gangsta does find Dapper. But it looks like Immortals, they're oh. just getting picked all apart, leaving it all up to Dice. He's going to have to come up huge once again. Gets the spike. Can he back up? Oh, wow. Dashes in, and he's able to take down Sinatra. Ooh. What a no-scope there. Ten seconds remain, and he's able to get onto that site. No dash. He's going to try to get himself here. One second to plant. Goes to the back of the site. Gets it with 0.2 seconds. He does have Blade Storm. Does he draw it immediately? He does, and it's going to be on top of the box. It goes down just to his right. He's trying to figure out where they could be. As it's going to be a crossfire from both members of Sentinels here. The tub is his play. He gets them both on one side. Dapper goes down, and he oh! fights oh! The ace no from way. Dicey! Are you kidding me, Dicey? What a round from him there. So important, and he's able to bring it all the way back for Immortals. Absolutely incredible. That was such a big round to pick up. And you can see him hopping into the smoke. You don't need to run over the bomb. Grab it with F like you grab a gun. You're out of there quick. And the 3v1 Sentinels was done. That's unreal from Dicey there. I can't believe it. Looks like, looks like we got a timeout here. Teams need to calm down they after are that it. one. Yeah, the adrenaline is pumping. <laughs> oh man, Dicey really putting a statement on this game already. On 11 kills already, topping Sinatra, who was on such a hot start. Sinatra, I think in the first two ki two rounds, that man had at least six kills. Yeah. It Absolutely incredible. Everybody stepping up where they need to for Sentinels or Immortals as we see here. Dicey with easily one of the top three plays of the tournament there in your sixth round, or seventh round, I should say, as we go into round eight here. A quick pause as we get things set back up. Looks like Asuna is what we're waiting on for the time being. So, taking stock of things, where the money is now, we can see the Spectre buys coming in for Sentinels. They're saying, these rounds are a bit of a fluke. We can still make it work. We can pressure buy ourselves in, because if we can turn it here, we also don't see too much money on the side of Immortals. If Immortals were to lose here, they get $1,900 on top of what you're seeing. So still a buy, but maybe hard up for the utility. That Econ game is something you can really play, and Sentinels is banking on shutting down the Econ of Immortals here. Yeah, it's a gutsy play. We'll see if it pays off. Sentinels, they have three ultimates in play right now. We haven't really seen that orbital strike coming out from Brimstone just yet. We'll see if they are able to use that to the fullest effect. Perhaps 
negate the aggressive play from Dicey here. That would be an excellent start. But, oh, Kohler on the other side of the map is actually able to find the first kill. That's a big one. But Sentinels, they are still aggressive over there, actually. Sick has taken up this position, and this allows Sentinels to stack now. They might be able to put Great all four point. players on this B-bomb site here, and that might just surprise Immortals enough. It might be what they need, but can Dicey and Co. come up huge once again? Something we're not seeing from Immortals, Maui, is the change in the strat. You know, with the kill over at A, they still want B, thinking there may be rotation to A. There's no mid-round unless they're pushed down to what we just saw 20 seconds or so and they're forced to the other side here. Still wanting B, gonna fully go on it. Smokes are out. Over towards the left side. Elbow's still open though. Bit of an off smoke as they enter the site. Maui and two coming in for Immortals quick. Oh yeah, this is just such a dominant execute. Leaves Dapper here at Elbow. He's just working with the Spectre right now and with 58 HP, it does not look like he's long for this. Able to take down one, a small consolation prize, but that was an investment from Sentinels exactly. that they might want back. <laughs> that becomes tough, and I'm sure you get a big smile on Immortals' faces. They run in there hearing Spectres, and that's what they're taking down. They bought. We get another few rounds for ourselves, but it's all tied up, so that really starts to make a difference. We're well, round eight, three ultimates up for the side of Sentinels, so has to be in mind the Brim ult is there. Touch for the plant and reposition. Yeah, really interested in how, what Sentinels will throw at them mm -hmm. here. It doesn't look like they will be working with too much. A stinger on Sinatra. And he opts to play around Octagon here. Will be difficult for him to peek towards that long B area yep. with this weapon. So he has to have perfect timing with this curveball if he wants to have any success. But the drone will scout him out. And the stinger at that range won't be too effective. <laughs> so he'll fall off the angle. And it looks like Immortals are finding some good control early on in this round nine. Yeah. Quite impressed here with Immortals as they're able to string back these rounds. It may be difficult for them on defense as you're only seeing the Cypher there. This is the Cypher Sage for Sentinels, but that still means Immortals pushing through that composition you usually see holding a pretty good wall on either A or B site. If they need to put that D up here, entry into B again. Immortals, they only know the letter B. That's the only place they're going here with only one round towards A for this entire match. And the entrance into the site leaves only one down on each team. Oh, Zombs with the orbital strike, but it finds nothing. The players are already out of hookah, a mistimed ultimate, yep. and it just leaves Dapper here at A, rotating on over with the Ghost. If he's even able to find one at this point, it would be pretty miraculous. But yeah, really good take there from Immortals once again. Like you were mentioning, it's uh, it's been B all day <laughs> for the side of IMT. I don't know if in their prep they found some kind of weakness here or they knew that Sentinels would react by giving up that hookah space as easily as they are. Yeah. But right now it's been pretty 50-50, but after this one, a one round advantage. So one thing I love about B and what it provides differently than A is that you are already close, right? You yes. are pressuring the opponents into shots. You're instantly jumping out of hookah. There's a way to waterfall out with everyone. A, a bit more scattered and distributed as you're heading in. You have angles to work. B, it's just this swarm and immortals just seem to be working that over and over again and Sentinels hasn't found a way through it. Yeah, it feels like B is just, it's just the wheelhouse of IMT yeah. right now. It, it, they really have been getting that long B control also relatively easily. I usually see a little bit more of a fight coming out from Sentinels towards that position. Absolutely. Sinatra makes it a point of emphasis with his curveball, tries to find that timing. But it looks like the way that actually IMT are approaching that is that they leave Dicey back so that when that curveball does come out, he can just re-peak knowing that he has to play anti-flash in that position. Mm -hmm. It hasn't really uh, come to fruition just yet, that anti-peak positioning or anti-flash positioning, but we'll see if that actually matters later. I'm going to guess it's a B Jumps hit over. for Immortals <laughs> this time around. Now I want to see a smoke coming in from Zombs that goes right on the front of Hookah, so it's hard for them to go out. Here he's got one a little deeper, just setting up that slow play, making sure they have to walk through the first smoke, then maybe walk through a second smoke. It goes down, Zombs. I love you as he places that one, and they start off the round with not allowing Immortals to just fly out of Hookah. I like it. And now Immortals decide to do something else for once. Yeah, they back off of the angle. They lost that opening pick due to Sinatra's run it back. And... 
IMT, they run it back themselves mm -hmm. to the A site. Sinatra will be lying in wait with Dapper, and those are two <laughs> heavy hitters I would not want to be facing on that A site. Looks like there's a little bit of a setup in place here. Sinatra with the curveball timing. He's not able to find anything because of it. Dicey uh -oh. with the updraft onto the box, and oh, Asuna pushes on board with his ultimate, but somehow Dapper and Sinatra holding on here. Asuna, he's <laughs> got to fire this rocket. Will he find anything? No, actually does no damage there, and Dapper just swinging on forward. It looks like Sentinels are just trying to clean up at this point. Let's get Dicey. No clutch for you this time around. They hunt him down. A flawless victory for Sentinels. I wanted to just shout, keep going, Asuna. Why did you stop? Nobody's going to repeak you. It's not a shorty. It's a buy <laughs> round for both. And he's just waiting for him to repeat you haul Never going to happen against the Rays. All. What a shutdown there from Sentinels. And with the Mortals on a roll, Sentinels says we need to stop it here after five rounds. Sentinels pull it back five to five. Yeah, streaky five rounds there yeah. for Immortals. Both teams actually looking pretty streaky right now. Will Sentinels be able to continue, though, into these last two very important rounds? A couple ultimates on the side of Immortals Whoa. there. And oh, wow. <laughs> See <you> Instant later. <laughs> run through the TP. Sinatra, he's been really loving these TPs, but Kohler just meets him with a bullet to the face. And I love the knife swings. You'll see pros doing knife swings when they're leaving an area, going into an area, crossing an area. It kind of changes where your head is, where your arms are. May make your opponent miss a shot. Zom's coming up big. As you see Hunter's Fury going through. And Shazam will start to get the push here, thinking that Hunter's Fury I means they're exactly only looking towards the site. And he's figured out, will he be able to outplay this one? Sentinel's on the retake. Still waiting for that bomb to go down as JC Stan. He didn't really have a way to get out from Shazam's eyesight. Yeah, it feels like Sentinels are just a little too desperate for that opening pick yeah. at times, and they're willing to take a lot of risks. I mean, that's great when you're using Run It Back or some kind of utility to mm -hmm. enable it, but just the wide swing coming out from Sinatra, that just feels... Uh, like, he's showing a lack of respect to Immortals in a way that they're absolutely ready for. Yeah, Immortals definitely knowing that Sentinels will try a few different things, and maybe that's, you know, what their slow play to be is. Sentinels are always wanting info, pushing a bit. We saw a great kill coming out of what was uh, Dapper on to their Cypher, who is Kohler's. Now, I keep getting these switched up as we, we go to different teams, but that kill really activated around for Immortals but they haven't been playing in a situation where Sentinels can get much info. So it's this is a Sentinels reaction game. How are they reacting to Immortal slamming B every time? And it seems like that's getting under their skin a little bit. Yeah, I really love that point. It just feels like Sentinels are desperate for information, and Immortals are denying that here. Yeah. Sinatra, though, plays back for once in Hookah, and it pays off. He takes down Ooh. Asuna, gets JC Stani down to half HP here, and Zom's, oh, he was looking for the trade rack, but he's not able to find it, actually. He gets taken down as well. JC Stani just manhandling this Hookah position, and it's a 4v3 advantage. Peering up to what could be his death. Rez here for sick, but it doesn't look like they're going to have a position to use it. And slow play maybe from JC Stani looking to go to the other site. Actually, he just goes to the back of the site. If they don't know he's there, they could get the bomb down. He's taken away. Oh, he formed. And the bomb is now in a precarious position here for the side of Immortals. But Dicey's in. Dicey wins. Takes down Dapper for that round. Man, Dicey was such a hot player for them. Feels like his clutch really set Immortals off there. It's looking a little dire, looking a little tough. Yep. 14 to 6 scoreline, and Sinatra tying him. But let's not forget that Sinatra, six of his kills were from the first two rounds there. He, oh my word, you're he, right. He cooled off just a little bit, but he's still maintaining that top frag position for his team and the server, actually. So true. Let's see how we get a change here from Sentinels. I feel like a bit more default from them, or we'll see Dapper's cam being put up so it can be used for a big flank. But starting off at B here, it looks like the cam may be used towards long, maybe to keep themselves safe, or right here in market as they move up. Three on A, two on B for Immortals' first defense. All right, looks like Sentinels will be taking a page from Immortals' book. Yep. Already pressuring this B site. Okay, who could check? Yep. Slowly scouting it out. Owl drone towards Hexagon there. Some Cypher cams to take space. 
And that's all Ooh. they need. Oh, wow. Six already in the site right now. Dicey looking for something, but he's not able to get the cloud burst in time. Six able to find that entry frag there, and it's a big one. Zoms through the smoke, takes down Asuna, and it's just a wall of smokes on the side of Immortals. They can't get into the site. JZ Stani he's forcing the issue, though, does take down Shazam. And the position is reset Whoa. as Gangsta gets a kill of his own. Definitely a possibility now. Yeah. What an in and out from JC there. They look to keep like, the play going as they head into the site. A few in tub. The flash comes down. He turns, looks at the ground to try and deny that one. But a quick three kills coming in for the side as Sentinels picks up the first round of our second half. Man, sick is the battle, Sage. Running in first. It's wild. Throws down that barrier orb towards that elbow side and is able to pick up the three-piece. What a round from him there. <laughs> you just have to marvel at how he plays the Sage in such a drastically different style. I love how Golden Boy brought that up on the desk. That Absolutely. Us usually the guy that's that's running the Sage is the kind of beta guy at times in the group. Just, yep. like, just kind of wants to make everybody happy, but sick, he makes himself happy with those kills. When you find yourself doing that, you're the Sage on the back healing. You're third in line, but catching the first bullet to your head somehow get in the front make something happen and sick loves to do that a bit of vision over here with the shock dart towards showers and what a quick runaround obviously we see immortals trying to get the better of sentinels and it's just a ring around here as they choose different sites and immortals are just committing <laughs> towards me the entire game that's that's what I'm getting from this it just feels like they went in with a really B centric game plan B. on the defense and offense and they're really just sticking with that here. A little bit of a gamble. We'll see if they're able to find anything here. A couple kills would be nice. Asuna peeking from this heaven position. And the floodgates are open. Let's see what IMT is able to do. A little short on the nade. Flash comes out. Just denial from Sentinels. They're not really giving too much body to be shown. As I say that, Dapper runs straight for the U-Haul. And they clean up the rest of Immortals. Asuna with that Sheriff when he can on Eco is really looking for some kills. Only gets one. But the bank of Sentinels is pretty funded right now. Oh, yeah. They are looking good here. Get kind of a free buy here. A couple mm -hmm. of Spectres still in play with Zoms Thumbs and Dapper up. on those. <laughs> yep. Thumbs up. Coming out from Sick. He's liking how this game is shaping up for him and his team. He's upgraded to the Phantom, though. Let's see what he's able to do. As he is uh, posturing to get some hookah control. A little unique to see the Sage being the one to pressure that position, but he just throws the slow orb and backs off. Love the Cypher Cam Long, a quick peek coming in from Dapper as they move in, and more of a default. We haven't really seen this happening throughout this bind playthrough until our second half from Sentinels, and they're just making their way in with info. I love the Sage Wall that breaks off U-Haul, but it requires team comms and a retake of U-Haul soon. We'll see how Sentinels plays it. Fuller just dancing with Zombs, does find that frag there. And he's still holding the line here. Sick with a double, though. He's able to bring things back. And that actually allows him to get his resurrection in play. He's able to res Shazam. Gangsta gets Dapper right behind them. But they escape. But the spike is still right in front of the teleporter. Will Immortals figure that out? Oh, it doesn't look like they know. No, it's just to the left in Cubby. doesn't look like they'll have vision of it right away. And they may have Spike Carrier killed at one point from someone. But after the commotion, you have to expect it's picked up. The rotation was hard from Immortals as they have Rays on B now moving themselves back over. As Asuna making his way, cheating back towards the site, and it may be a re-rotation. 30 seconds. It looks like Shower will be a slow play. Remember, Wall's down, so this is just going to be a default plant with Shazam's intel after the fact. Yeah, this is going to be a 2v2 on the site. The Omen and Sova remain as Asuna has made his way back to B. Sentinels really slowed this round off. Stani, will it pay off? Oh, Jay-Z, Stani with one. Can't find the second though. Sick, does take him down. Has to plant that spike, but does he know that there's another player here? Oh, great, Shock Bolt coming out there from Gangsta. Almost taking down Sick, just on 22 now. Can't really see what the vision of that was. Maybe he, they could think he's in the left cubby, but I'm, I'm, I think they guess he showers right now. The spams are going to come through. Here comes the Roomba. This could be bad. He just dodges out on that. They know he wasn't checked on the right side, and that's a kill from Sick. Asuna able to pick that one up. A very big round for Immortals here as this is going back and forth, but only after teams have grabbed a few rounds on each other and then are put on a pressure round. And that's when they come up big. Yeah, it feels like when both of these teams have their backs against the wall, that's Honestly. when they shine the most there. Recovered operator for Dicey. He's been fantastic thus far in this game. 
Let's not forget his ace earlier oh on. Oh, my word. Jesus, what a round from him. But uh, Sinatra still on top of the scoreboard there. Mm -hmm. Let's see if he can keep it going. Alts on deck for him. Something you also have to look at is where alts are on deck. Will they be farming an orb? Will it be a quick play over towards B, and then they just reset? One more for run it back here. Kind of two as the average for the rest of the team. So a kill and an orb to be had there. Nice jiggle coming in, and Sentinels is able to find out that Dicey is trying to op at B. That's some good intel gain for Sentinels here. Let's see what they're able to do with it. Oh, I don't know if he spotted Sick passing through that smoke there. That dark cover may have provided exactly what its name intends. Dicey go playing an angle that Shazam did not expect, but he still couldn't find the shot. Sinatra wanting to get in there with the flash. Left, right, throws him over his shoulder, and he's going to have elbow control. Bomb's still pretty far away here, but it looks like they're going to try to dismantle Immortals before making that move. They can choose to go to A still. Yeah, this is a really interesting wow. situation from Sentinels right now. They have control of elbow, but the spike is not quite on the side. And Immortals, <laughs> the way they're reacting to it, it seems like they're so calm with just sitting here. And this might actually work out for them, but no, Sinatra does find that frag onto Dicey, and Shazam through the smoke, taking down JC Stani. It just seemed like it was a matter of time with yeah. the control Sentinels had. They make it work with the double entry there, and they're keeping it up with the post plan. Can't even take a break there. My word. Shutting it all down. You know, there's a moment in that round where you're thinking, are they where they want to be right now? It, se <laughs> it seems like they didn't they didn't get the entry they wanted, but no, it still worked out. I mean, that's what uh, we talked about it before. That's what B's all about is starting in the face of your opponents, and it's a fast react. And we actually see Sentinels kind of doing the same thing Immortals did with different style, but those B hits, the aggression, it's hard to stop, and it... No, the traps don't seem to be doing much in that situation, right? They know those are towards A, so they're not worrying about getting caught as they enter the site through smokes. Yeah, perhaps a switch up in the agent's positioning. For sure. Refresh. Would, yeah, would work out for Immortals here. That's a great point. Get out of my way! So we'll see if uh, that adaptation comes out on the next gun round. Uh, Immortals here just working with pistols across the board. Yeah. But they will be able to stack A, it looks like. The rotation's coming in, but Sentinels are already in a great position. Actually walling off the left side, that U-Haul position this time around. And we'll be planning in the default spot. Gangsta trying to find something cheeky through this cyber cage here. Oh, okay. Looked like he might have found something. Dicey, though, does find two with his ultimate. But it's not enough. The only two kills found for the side of Immortals. Run it back and around and around again as Sinatra passes ships in the night through that cypher gate we saw, but still comes up big with some kills. Alt for Brim and Alt for Sage. If you are against an attacking Brim with Alt, get your butt out of U-Haul. So it may not be a, a spot we see being guarded super heavily here by the side of Immortals. We can actually see uh, Shazam leaving that now, or sorry, Gangsta leaving that position now to kind of play backside-ish. Three alts, four alts for Immortals here. Will they be able to answer back if they get a good dart to start off or maybe even a raise alt to deny the sight take? Oh, ultimate early on. There you go. Not able to find anything just yet. The ultimate orb is captured by Shazam there, so he has that Hunter's Fury. That could lead to a secondary execute to try to get Sentinels into either bombsite. Wow, look at the push they could have uh, considered happening already. Coming in here from Immortals. He's trying to get just messed up here by whatever JC Stani could do, messing with the brains of Sentinels. Yeah, Sentinels have really played with the pace a lot more than Immortals did. It felt like Immortals was just, all right, we got Hookah, let's go. Sentinels, yeah. they play a much more uh, slow pace style. But Immortals actually are capitalizing off of that. The control that Asuna has in Hookah is allowing a Pretty strong Great rotation point. towards this A site. The play is coming out. And there's the Hunter's Fury looking for an opening. Zoms will get one, but Gangsta returns with the kill onto Sick. Asuna as well is able to find Sinatra on the opposite side of the map. And Immortals, they didn't mind that it was a slow pace round. What a play across the map here from Immortals defense. Dapper though making it not matter as Dicey does finish off the round. I love the play coming in from JC Stani, smoking out Asuna's position on Hookah, which gave him the kill 
over onto the Phoenix. They were able to take out Sinatra, so just the back and forth was awesome there. Dapper almost made it not matter. But thank God for Dicey coming up big this game. Almost ready to drop a 20 bomb following on Sinatra. He's trying to get Immortals and keep them in this. Yeah, that's a great point, Riv, that JC was able to help out his teammates with that extra smoke in place. Such good timing with that one there. Yeah. Immortals, they have so many little protocols and procedures in place for any situation that Sentinels have thrown at them. Woo! Oh, Dicey! Jump peeks out, takes down Zombs. That's a way to find a 5v4. Oh, the feels. Can he get both? That's definitely going to be one kill. Zombs, though, eh? able to trade that one back as Sinatra finds one on Asuna. Will they get into sight on this one? Sinatra finds another as they keep going back and forth. The neural uplink goes down, and now this is going to be a hit from Sentinels as they try to get in. Dicey needed that shot, and I love it. He plays in those Dicey positions to make the impact frags. This time, it doesn't work. And that might just be it for Immortals here. They have to consider the save at this point. Feels so bad at 9 to 9. What First, a game. Yeah, this is so back and forth. Immortals are really showing up. They're really impressing me here. I got to say, but Sentinels, there's a reason that a lot of us are considering the best team in North America right For now. For sure. And even in Sentinel's game yesterday, when they won first map by five or six rounds and then won the second map handily, it, we heard them saying, oh, it didn't actually feel like we were miss or didn't have control at all. We had control the whole time. So it's interesting to see, like, even this game, they may feel with alts coming up or something, they could be fully in the lead with a few strats they want to be running. We'll see how they decide to play it. It has been A to B right now without really any success. But this time they pick up another one. 10 to 9 now in favor of Sentinels here. We're three away from a win for Sentinels. Immortals looks to tie it up once again as we see guns on defense. Oh, actually, doesn't look like the buy from Immortals will be yeah, that, that strong. No, it's not going to be that great, actually. though. You're right. Yeah, they could have opted for one, but they'll go for the safer route. They want a really strong purchase into the upcoming round. I'm interested to see what Dicey bought there. Okay, just thinking about the Marshall. Decides to go with the he Stinger. Okay, that. well, he sells the Stinger there back to the Marsh. All right, a little back and forth. I hope he has a little bit more confidence in his shots, though. Man, he's such a stellar player, and he needs to come up big for his team here in this round. If they want to steal this one, it would be absolute thievery if Immortals take this. It, it, absolutely wild. You know, almost like a mental boom round. Did we really just get marshaled is the question that would come out from Sentinels. No alts ready on the side of Sentinels. Uplink here for Immortals, so you can kind of almost count that out with how fast these rounds have been going. We've hardly seen reses unless it was the beginning of the round or even time to heal, to be honest, with how quick everything is going. And Sentinels slightly running down the clock. A minute is more than enough time to do what they want. And a few taps on the orb are going to trigger Immortals to make some movements. Paranoia comes out from JC Stani and Ooh. Asuna behind the site does take down Sinatra. That's a one for one trade. Oh. Asuna looking for more, but Sick does find it. But Kohler with that save, Phantom does get one. 2v3 situation. Oh, great recon dart coming out from Gangsta there. But he's not able to capitalize off of it. Can't find the wall bang. And now they're pushing through the cloud burst. And it's us. Oh, okay. Dicey actually backs off the angle, does find one. This is a 1v2. This is actually doable. Such low HP on Zombs there. He just has he's to get a quick Oh, what a wall bang there. Can he win the 1v1? Oh, the dash oh, is out and he's looking for it. Sick. Oh, the ult comes no. out. Oh, but he misses the daggers actually. Reloads, slows down the situation here. Dicey just playing oh, around this default box. Can he find oh, it? My God. Or will Sick come oh, oh, just oh. finds the hair on the Sick. Dicey, Dicey with another huge clutch there. 10 to 10 score line. Dicey is coming up huge. Man of the match. You have to be kidding. I thought once he got on the box, he was going to get shot on the side of the head, but both were looking the opposite direction. <laughs> it, oh, oh, my, my word. Now, remember, Nice was used on that round. We'll watch it again. It was such a great retake. This shot here, seeing Zoms for not a split second, your eyes are going everywhere on the map trying to track something, and he sees it. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Dicey. Man, I thought after the daggers miss, it was going to be so tough for right him. Right here, I thought it was over. Looks right, jumps up, boom, side of the head. He just found so much composure oh, in such word. a tough spot. That is insane from Dicey, the rookie, the new player for Immortal Stant, just slotting in so well for them. Playing it very strong. We've seen the pop off jets here, and they have just been empowered to do it even more. Run through the smoke. A little ships in the night from JC Stani as Zoms trades back on that retribution kill as Sinatra goes down. 3v4. Sentinels have the brim alt to open up a site, send a message, or use it for post plan. 
Well, Sentinels, they slow things down a little bit here. They do. Yeah, this is a uh, characteristic of the, their play. It might thin out the defenders here. As Immortals, they had all three players in position, but this is such a great call from Shazam and Sentinels here. It allows the defense to settle, spread out a little bit. There comes that orbital strike. Dapper gets Kohler, who's out of position due to that. And it's just dicey again, but he can't find anything from that yeah, spot. Just Gangsta. And he's locked off by a smoke. This is looking hopeless for him. Does find one, though. But that's it. I love the play. The Brimstone Ultimate didn't find anything, but that's information. Dicey was the only thing they had to look at in the back of the site. They used that beautifully, and Sentinels makes their way into the site. Doesn't even matter if you were in a choke point there. The Brim Alt was to displace and allow Sentinels into the, fight, into the site. Yeah, I just love how Sentinels call for that pause. They, they, it's so good. Yeah, the Owl Drone comes yeah. out there from Gangsta. He spots a player really far back in Hookah. Thinks, okay, maybe this is going back to A, and he kind of uh, fades right. away into back into his spawn, and it just allows Sentinel an easier path. They can't set up the same crossfires because he's all the way back in spawn, not in the site, helping out. Yeah, their positioning after that, had they seen someone else in Hookah, their they, it would have been off, obviously, but their positioning makes it look like there may be a back off. You're right, I love that point. Sinatra finding Kohler as they push up here on a bit of an eco. That Sheriff goes down and he picks up a nice sidearm. A little bit of a, an upgrade there. Mm -hmm. Sick, doing quick work. JC Stani there. And oh man, the battle stage continues. Gangsta, he does get one. Molly really tags him low though. And he has the Hunter's Fury. Actually, this could get interesting if he's able to find a couple of kills with it. So that's a big if. And oh, that's such a great recon bolt. The positioning is just so good from Sentinels here to trade things out. Quick work onto the site, but methodical work as well. They approach that so well together. I love that by Dicey. You could tell he's a jet player. As soon as that dart came out, he looked at the ground real quick and was like, damn, I'm out of smokes. Yeah. Get seen by it, get shot. Yeah. You can see how ingrained these agents are in each player, and Dicey is just doing things second nature. That's what you need to do. You never should be thinking about what you're doing. you got to be thinking about what your opponent is doing, and that's how you stay a step ahead. Sentinels seem to have that playbook here for the last few rounds. It's on game point, and this is just map one, Maui. Man, this has been so impressive from Immortals. It's a shame they're down. It feels like they worked so hard for this one. But Sentinels, they're just knocking at the door right now. Two chances at map point here. A reminder, this is Immortals map right. pick. <laughs> We saw that. They love B. It seems like they wanted to take Sentinels to dinner at B. <laughs> I don't know if that's ever going to come to fruition, but we definitely did a, I got a damn good game out of this first set in the series here. A quick molly to the back, hop on the box, trying to <laughs> figure out if he's in. Oh, okay, that is hot down there. Don't touch the floor. It's lava. <laughs> yeah. We're good for now as Asuna keeps himself safe. And there's no kind of confirmation on that, too, which is nice. It's not like, I hit him. He's burning. Let's rush him. So he gets to play a little tricky. Asuna does in hookah still, looking for a push through. And he won't find it just yet. The smoke comes out. Oh, here it is in his face. Sinatra just bursting on through. Austin was looking for the nade, wasn't able to find it. And now this is a desperate defense from Immortals. They've lost that hookah control, but it's a... Uh it's not the two-pronged attack you'd expect. It's all out of hookah for Sentinels there, and that might work out in JC Sonny's favor, but he's only able to find the one. Sick with the res on a Zombs. 5v2 situation. This Ooh. is so tough for Immortals. Waterfall out of hookah. That's exactly what we saw Immortals doing here, and it's going to be the quick take coming in. The run it back will end the round for Sinatra getting the last kill, and Sentinels will take Immortals down on their own map pick. Yeah, it was a great fight.